Warning, the outcome of this video will result in you drawing closest to Allah and improving your religion. Viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> so listen to the bars Nicki Minaj is saying, right? Pull up in the Lambo, feeling all dank. Need some inspiration, hit up Mufti Mank. I mean, you're really gonna put my man Mufti Mank's name in your songs? In your, my man Mufti Mank's a scholar. You're gonna put his name in your lyrics, bro? Like, isn't that crazy? Way of life as Q, keeping it a hundred. Haya's doing the right thing. Come here, beautiful. Okay, come here, beautiful. Okay. No, I'm gonna put the mic in the middle over here, and you guys are gonna look directly into the camera, and you're gonna say, "Hold on, no, 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 no." You're gonna say, "Assalamu alaikum." Welcome to our YouTube channel. Okay, look directly into the camera. Welcome back. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Okay, now you say. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. What do you say after that dua? I'm so grateful, thankful, humble, <laughs> and that's, thank you for watching my video, bye. Thank you for watching our video. Anything else, Haya? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Tell them may Allah bless you. May Allah bless you. I cannot believe that Nicki Minaj did this to Mufti Mank on Twitter. I mean, like, this is just like... Subhanallah, like, you know, Nike's doing this to us, Adidas doing these things to us, Netflix is doing this to us. Now Nicki Minaj to my man Mufti. I'm going to leave that aside. Before I jump into this video, guys, just a few announcements. If you would like to skip this, follow the timestamps and move forward. No problem, no hard feelings, but the real ones will watch these announcements. I have three announcements, inshallah. The first announcement is that on my Instagram, there is a paid position available salary monthly salary not for like two months but like for years to come a salary position available for anyone who is interested uh, that position's on my instagram go check it out it's in my stories right now so please go check that out if you're interested in applying just dm me second announcement as you can see the merch is out right how to sell it i don't know yet i'm gonna be honest with you um your boy's learning this along the way your man, your boy's learning this along the way, all right? So I don't know how to proceed with that yet. I do know that it's going to be in the U.S. only first. I'm only shipping it for free in the U.S. first. I don't know. I haven't really thought this out. A lot of people giving me some suggestions. I don't know. Third announcement is that there is a Uyghur. I used to call it Uyghur, but a Turkish brother corrected me. He said, it's Uyghur. I'm doing an Uyghur social experiment soon, so stay tuned for that, inshallah. An Uyghur social experiment very soon. It's going to be called, uh, pronounce this word, win AirPods, right? And the goal behind that is to educate people about what's happening to our Uyghur brothers and sisters in China, the concentration camps. I can't use the word Uyghur in my title because YouTube is just going to shadow ban this and just not allow the video to be successful. Okay, and there's a fourth bonus announcement for all you guys out there. The children's YouTube channel is coming out soon. It's going to be a pretend play channel just for our children so that they can get some real halal benefit from it. I'm going to be playing my man Olaf. It's going to be a fun video. Let's jump into this. Thank you for watching and, and waiting. All right. Nicki Minaj, freaking Nicki Minaj, did this to my man Mufti Mank on Twitter. Can you believe it? You're like, ask you what? What did she do to Mufti Mank on Twitter? Can you believe this kafir, this kafir, kuffar, bloody kuffar, had the audacity, the audacity to follow my man Mufti Mank on Twitter? I mean, who the hell does she think she is following my man on Twitter? What, is she, what, what do you think you're gonna get from Mufti Mank, huh? But that's essentially what she's done. And honestly, I'm so excited and proud that that has happened. Because if you know anything about Mufti Mank, Mufti Mank's tweets are super inspirational, super motivating, right? And it's so, I want to say generic, right? That anyone could benefit from it, irrespective of your religion. It's obviously uh, for Muslims. He's, he caters his niche for Muslims. But it's so generically good and positive that anyone could benefit from it. And I'm sure many are benefiting from it. So Nicki Minaj happens to be one of the many people, I'm sure, who is following Mufti Mank on Twitter. Now, a lot of us are upset at the fact that, one, some of you guys didn't even know this, so you're welcome for telling you the news, you know what I mean? You know? Um, but some people don't like the fact that this is happening. Why? Some people don't want these quote-unquote celebrities to find guidance. 
They, they just don't because they're like, they're neck deep into the dunya and they had the best of the dunya. Now they're going to become Muslims. Now they're going to be forgiven for all these deeds. Some people are jealous that someone could be on that extreme of, of, of dunya, of jahiliya and still find guidance. And we need to change ourselves. Look at the people who have accepted Islam and the height of all their success. Look at Cat Stevens. Brother Cat Stevens, he's now known as I can't remember his Muslim name. I can't, but Cat Stevens, my bad out there. I love you for the sake of Allah, right? Look at Shanae O'Connor. She's become a Muslim as well, mashallah, right? Look at my man Loon. My man Loon was doing the Harlem Shake. You know, he was doing the little Harlem Shake, asking how, how you want that. Tell me how you want that. And all of a sudden, he's a Muslim now. Alhamdulillah, I heard he got released from jail too. Mashallah, maybe I should make a video about that. Maybe. Why not, right? But guidance can come to anyone. But the problem is that a lot of us have deemed and labeled people kufar. Oh, those kufar. Because they're kufar, they've gone too far, there's no guidance for them. You see, I'm not telling you not to call people kafir, this and that. I'm not telling you not to do that, but I'm telling you this. When you see someone as a kafir, you see someone as a kufar, you're going to speak to them like a kafir. You're going to speak to them as if they were a kuffar. You're not going to speak to them with that softness, that kindness. You're not going to speak to them with that ability to what if they do accept Islam. There's going to be some rigidness in you when you speak to them. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent Musa al-Islam to Fir'aun, did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala send Musa al-Islam to a kafir? To, oh, speak to that kuffar, the kafir. Go speak to him. No, 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 no. Because of that mindset, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala understands the human, you know, intellect, the psychology. People that we don't like, we have a, you know, an innate, an implicit, sometimes a blind bias towards them. That when we speak to such people, we automatically have a little grudge and a, you know, and a perception about them, a prejudice against them, a bias against them. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds Musa al to speak to him with kindness. Subhanallah. Your boy SQ dropping uh, uh, gems, dropping dimes like it's game time. Come on now. You understand? We have to treat everyone like a potential Muslim. And all those celebrities that you see, they're potential Muslims. Think about your favorite celebrity who's not a Muslim. Be honest. We all know you got one. So stop fronting and playing like you don't have one. All right? Think about your favorite celebrity. Think about them for a second. Okay? If you love them so much, if you like them so much, right? Favorite YouTuber who's not a Muslim. I know, I know you have some. Favorite celebrity, favorite whoever who's not a Muslim. In Islam, we love for others what we would love for ourselves. Don't you want Jannah? Don't you love your Iman? Don't you love these things for yourself? Then why is it for Kevin Durant you can't make du'a for him? He's your favorite basketball player. Why not? Kyrie Irving, your favorite basketball player, make the offer him. LeBron James, your favorite basketball make the offer him. If Nicki Minaj is your favorite artist out there, sure, I'm not judging your taste in music. I'm not here to tell you what's halal or haram. I'll leave that up to the real scholars out there. But why aren't you making the offer her for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to soften our heart? Do you understand that Shanae O'Connor, Loon, uh, you know what I mean, uh, Cat Stevens, or any other celebrity who has reverted to Islam? Think about your favorite person, right? Even Muhammad Ali. Right? And if you look at someone like Tyson, who inshallah I'm going to be interviewing very, very soon, stay tuned. Um, they are the results of someone's dua, aren't they? Guidance is from Allah, of course, but someone had to make a dua for them. Why can't it be you and I? So stop looking at people as if they're done, they're written off, Allah has sealed their hearts. No way at all. That's not our responsibility. We've crossed the lines, we're overstepping our boundaries. Stay in your lane, son. We need to make du'a for everyone, that Allah guides them. Yes, if they're doing something wrong, let's correct them in the healthiest of ways. But let's ask Allah to guide them to the straight path. If you're a Drake fan out there, Drizzy, make du'a that he accepts Islam. Why not? Why not? Why can't he be a Muslim? Why? Isn't that an awesome thing if he accepted Islam, if he was guided to the straight path? Don't worry about how he will be that or how that will happen or if he'll still continue to do the haram and music. And that. Leave that aside. But don't you think it's of some value to make dua for these people? Some of you are already disliking this video. You're like, that's cute. You clickbaited me. Okay, if you say so. But what, what did you expect? The masala? You wanted some shan masala on this? You wanted it to be spicy, huh? 
You wanted it to be spicy, like, oh, like she dissing You know what? Let's 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 record this intro. I'm gonna make this intro just to make you guys upset. Oh, I love it. I love it. Dislike this video right now. It's cool. Nicki. So listen to the bars Nicki Minaj is saying, right? Pull up in the Lambo, feeling all dank. Need some inspiration. Hit up Mufti Mank. I mean, you're really gonna put my man Mufti Mank's name in your songs? In your my man Mufti Mank's a scholar. You're gonna put his name in your lyrics, bro? Like, isn't that crazy? It's crazy, huh? That a lot of people are just gonna watch that intro part and be like, <laughs> come on, bro. Be patient. Be patient. Make the offer for each other. Be patient. Don't be hasty in your judgments. Don't be hasty in your judgment. Plus, it's just super, super fun to annoy some of you guys out there. But the real ones, wait until these end of these videos to actually get the whole message. Remember something. This isn't a war against Islam. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna make a separate video about this. This isn't a war against Islam. Las Vegas, wallahi, opened my eyes, by the way. I'm going back, inshallah, this weekend. This isn't a war against Islam. This is a war against human beings. The shaitan is a human being's enemy. Not just the Muslims. He's not exclusively an enemy to Muslims. He is insan's open enemy. The reason there's an attack on Islam, are you ready? Is because Islam is the medicine and the cure for humanity. That same humanity that they're attacking and are, are war against, Islam is the solution for that humanity. But if they can make the Muslims feel weak, if they can make the Muslims not even take the same medicine that we are prescribed to the whole world, that the Messenger saw Asalam was sent to the whole of mankind, if we ourselves aren't taking it, right? By making us feel low, making us feel like we are backwards, right? Making videos like this Netflix video over here, right? If they can make us feel inferior in our deen, feel like we gotta chase people, we gotta catch them, all of a sudden we are no longer taking that medicine. Now we want to follow other people's trends and their styles, right? So much so that we put our hands in the same scorpion hole that they're putting themselves into. Wallahi, Islam is the solution for all of mankind. They just want us to be asleep so that we don't help the world because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent us to this world to help humanity. That's our job and that's what I'm trying to do. Like if you want and if you benefit from this video, I appreciate you watching this for this long. You're like, SQ, you still wearing the same shirt every day? Damn right I am. I'm trying to make sure that y'all know that the merch is coming out very, very soon. Love you all for the sake of Allah. These are some of the two videos. One is best for you or one is a video that YouTube knows that you're going to love. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, Keep it that way. Love you all for the sake of Allah. Until next time, I'm out.